What are we going to do today, Phineas? I think we should try and build a cell membrane. Sounds good to me, but are you sure? It is pretty hot out here. We might sweat. Sweating is actually good for you. It helps you maintain homeostasis. What in the world is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the maintenance of relatively stable internal conditions, which basically is the same state. Wow, here comes Kansas. Maybe she can tell us more. What are you guys up to? Brainstorming what to do today. Say, Candace, do you know anything about homeostasis? What are they? I was getting there. First, there's thermoregulation, which helps with your temperature. That explains why we get so hot. Yep. Next, osmoregulation, which is your blood and water and blood sugar level regulation helps with glucose. Does blood sugar level have to do with diabetes? Yes, for this last one is oxygen regulation. It helps you become normally, breathe normally. <laughs> what is it to you anyways? Oh, no reasoning. Do. Actually, it's about Firm and I are building a cell membrane. Can I help? Well, we are a little confused with the structure. You think you could help? Yeah, I'm learning this in biology. The cell membrane is composed of a phospholipid bilayer. The phospholipid allows the membrane to be semi-permeable. That is, the same material can easily pass in and out of the same of this membrane without the need for energy. Phospholipids are lipids having a polar head and a non-polar tail. Thanks, you'll be the first to see our cell membrane. See ya. Look, here comes Buford and Bajit. Great, hey, Bajit, what do you know about active and passive transport? Well, passive transport is a movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration across a concentration gradient an attempt to reach equilibrium. For example, diffusion and osmosis. And for active transport, it requires energy. Molecules move against the concentration gradient, such as protein pumps, receptor proteins, channel proteins, endocytosis, and exocytosis. You're, su You're such a loser. Is that absolutely necessary? Does it bother you? Well, yes, a little bit. Then yes, it's necessary. All right, fair enough. Perry, glad to see you could make it. I just finished up my osmosinator. I'm going around the tri-state area and increasing the size of insects while decreasing the size of humans. I will use hypertonic for the humans and hypotonic on the insects, and the entire tri-state area will be mine. Homeostasis keeps a balance in the body, and without it, cells will die. If the cell membrane was not the shape that it is, then things couldn't go in and out of the cells. Passive and active transport also help keep a balance for the body. All of these things work together to keep us alive. <laughs> Mom, Phineas and Ferb are making a cell membrane. Look, here comes Buford and Bajit. Great. Hey, Bajit, what do you know about active and passive <laughs> transport? Hold on, stop. Look, here comes Buford and Bajit. Great. Hey, Bajit, what do you know about active and passive transport? Well, passive transport is the <laughs> oh, so good. Good. exocytosis. You're such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I had to get it. <laughs> Homeostasis keeps a balance. What? <laughs> it's like so bad. Next, osmoregulation. One is your. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read it. <laughs> um, I think you just got dark completely over. Yeah. You look so pretty.